Hey guys, welcome back to Nisha's Corner, and yeah, let's make another amazing chicken dish. <laughs> so I made a trip to the Hong Kong City Mall the other day, and I came across this cane vinegar, and I bought it. And um, it's slightly sweetened, you definitely taste the cane in the vinegar, it is still acidic, but um, what we have to balance that out is gonna, you know, make it really good, so... Let's make this marinade, marinate the chicken, throw it in the oven. You guys know the drill. And yeah. <laughs> in my bowl so far, I have a little oil and my orange zest. You guys know I can't zest while I'm holding my phone. I'm going to add my brown sugar down in here. Then my salt. My hot sauce. And my garlic and cilantro. Let me pick this up. Why did I even put that on paper towels? <laughs> Those are the silliest things. Yeah, so I'm going to mix this up really, really well. Oh, I can't forget my sugar cane vinegar down in here. I'm going to mix this up really, really well. And then we're going to pour it all over the chicken. Then you're just going to... You can use a spoon, spatula. I'm just extra. See how it's nice and thick and when you spread it all over the chicken, it's going to be nice and delicious. You can use this on fish too. Only difference is you can only marinate it for maybe 30 minutes with fish because it does have vinegar in here. It will start cooking your fish. That's not what you want. So yeah, use this on poultry, beef, pork, chicken. Yep, and this is where things are going to get messy because I'm going to go in here with my hands and rub this marinade all into the chicken. And like I said, I'm going to let it marinate and I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what my chicken looks like after 30 minutes on 450. Now I'm going to knock the heat all the way back to 325 and let it cook all the way through and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what my chicken looks like guys. I served it up over some steamed vegetables. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Um, it got nice and golden, well, dark and golden brown in the oven, but that's okay. Um, it's definitely not burnt, it's super flavorful. If you try this recipe, let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Bye guys.